So with a look through the power supply and deciding really there wasn't anything to be done there, uh, disassembly and reassembly of the keyboard. I've got everything plugged back in. I've got the monitor over here to my right hand side. I've got 16K of RAM installed and I guess the test is does it power up still? And it does. So I have the nice prompt. I'm going to do a print. Uh, FRE parenthesis I don't remember what number was in there. Uh, I saw something for how to zero. I believe it was print free zero to detect the amount of RAM installed. And so with 16K in, write this down. Doing a print. Can't write free zero. 16k in return 14333 now the weird thing was is the way that this was actually shown was to do a print free zero plus six five five three six which just didn't make any sense to me that returned seventy nine eight sixty nine which doesn't make any sense the fourteen three 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 makes sense to me because there's uh memory being consumed by basic uh, and you know the system ROMs and everything so there's going to be some gap so that would make sense to me if I put in 32k I would expect 16384 so let's see if I, my math will be right here 7 8 9 10 11 7 I would expect with the next 16k and take 30k a number like 30717 to be returned so we'll find out so let's put in that next block of 16k I'm really happy with these little ceramic 16k DRAMs they're beautiful little purple ceramic package with the uh, soldered on lid the uh, gold plated lead frame they're just beautiful little rams. These actually came off of that S100 uh, memory card that had the hand-wired adapter for my uh, eight Heathkit H8. And borrowed these out of there just because they were a nice match set. There's actually a hair there that I don't think it hurt anything, but I don't like looking at it. So, let's power up again. And we have the basic prompt again. Print free zero. Gives me th th 3717, exactly what I expected to see. So we got exactly this number. So if we go to 48K, we're going to add another 16,384 bytes of RAM. It's 11, that's 10. 8, 9, 10, that's 11. 7, 47010. Put in the next batch. These are actually here in the anti-static foam from when they were removed earlier. So I'm not sure why that example I found had you add 65,536 to what Freezer O returned. When in my mind it's returning every logical number for amount of free RAM. So let's go ahead and install these guys. Getting my hand over here on the uh, static dissipative mat. So I am sitting on a chair that probably generates static electricity. So most things do. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So this should take me up to 48K onboard RAM. They're all in the right direction. They look like the pins are laid up and correct. Print free zero. Now I've got minus 18,435. And that makes sense because it's two's complement. So I think that would make sense where I now need to add 65K to come back around. So print free 
zero. And now if we add 65536, because this is two's complement, it comes back with 47101. So that's correct. So if you don't know how two's complement works in a 16-bit signed integer field, uh, look it up. Or I could, I may have explained it in a previous video, or I could explain it at some point going forward. But in this case, the print free zero required me to add doing plus 65536. And what that essentially does is because it's too complement, the answer came back negative, is it takes it all the way back around to a positive value when it matches exactly what I would have expected to see here. So the final step here. Now that I know it actually is seeing all the memory, you know, I poked at this somewhat earlier and there was I was confused by what I was seeing, but now I understand it. As we want to pull this RAM chip out. And get him back in the foam. And we're going to put in this language card that has both 616K of DRAM on it not plug in there well. 16k of DRAM. It's got an extra DRAM that replaces the one that we've just removed there. And this should take this machine to a full 64k. And so what would we expect this to look like? Let's add 16384 again. Now I don't know that this is going to total up the same as the language ROM is on that card and it may be chewing up additional memory. 584 63485, I'd expect some value in that that range. Print free zero plus six five five three six. And I got forty seven one oh one again. Hmm, so it's either didn't see this card or there's software magic that may have to happen for this card to work. I don't actually know how this should act at this point. I would have expected BASIC to see another 16K of RAM, but that may not be the case uh, with how these cards work. What I will do here is just reseat all the devices on here if I can. decided to come all the way out. I don't think I think I looked over this card and didn't see any pin rot. Did you not go in right? No you didn't. Dang it. I bend a pin and it's probably gonna snap off when I straighten it out. I'm getting at it. Doggone it. Okay, little needle nose, where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Sorry to be doing this off camera. common TTL device. At this point the pin has bent back into register. It looks like it'll be fine and it went right into the socket. Uh, I'm going to try to get this here where I can kind of rock these. Yeah, I don't know if this upper, well, this upper 16K is banked. I think I remember reading that someplace where it can be banked. So it's quite possible it's just not immediately available to basic. time they are nice and tight which isn't necessarily a bad thing
No, he really does not want to go back in. Oh, interesting. Socket's got this little adapter doohickey there that popped up out with the chip and was getting in the way. So I didn't notice that these sockets had that. Rock him a bit. Rock him a bit. All the pins on there are there. They're all clean. Oh, beautiful drop the pencil nut that these need to be burnished. They actually look pretty clean. Get everything but the ROM here. with that. I don't expect any of this to make a difference, but we'll give it a shot. As so, I've uh, worked through the Apple II architecture, learning about the machine well, we still get a prompt. Print free not nine zero minus eighteen four so it's still going to give me 48k so I don't know if it should be seeing the RAM in this upper 16k bank here or not probably not honestly uh, it's a good sign we've come a long way here uh, happy with the board cleanup and reassembly it's not perfect but it's not horrid either. Uh, a lot of new chips, a couple of bad chips identified, the couple of errors I've talked about in a previous video I made with the bent pin. Added a bunch of confusion. Uh, well, the uh, tests with the color monitor were highly disappointing. Uh, I don't think the monitor's working. It was picked up surplus for $10, and I think it's got issues. But uh, I'm back on the BMC black and white here. We'll turn the Apple on. You saw it come up there. Got the 48K of RAM in it. Print free. Oops, it's supposed to be a zero. Plus 65536. Just to test the amount of memory we have. And I got a typo. You know, I read something about how to edit. But apparently I don't know how it works. Print free. Wow, I was typing fine until I tried to record myself typing. Print free shift zero plus six five five three six. Should indicate we have. Oh Lord! Print free. Where did the Z keep coming from? Zero. It's not F R E, it's F R E. Plus six five five three six. There we go, showing we have forty eight K of RAM installed. Uh, five four X equals thirty two to one twenty seven, which I believe is the full character set starting with space. Ten print. Out of return fifteen next X twenty print I just need to output an odd number of characters. We'll do that. Only it's gotta be a quote. five so it just runs endlessly and by adding those three spaces it'll, it, it'll cause it to shift the pattern as it runs so there we are looks like I'm getting pretty good video on the uh, camera here 
I think I'm going to end this series on the Apple One motherboard stuff. Uh, sometime in the future I'll tackle the case. Really, I think the next Apple-based project will be uh, the build-out of that Apple... Am I saying Apple One? I mean Apple Two. Of that Apple Two uh, original release motherboard uh, to kind of recreate the, if you bought a blank, Apple Two motherboard in the really early days, what it would have been like to build it and get it running. So anyhow, I will end this up here. And we'll talk soon. Bye.